Hey everyone, Shiny Sephiroth here, and I'm ready to go over another X-War win! Let's go ahead and get down to it, but first, let me go ahead and clean off my screen. Alright, that's a little better. So, this battle here, we went ahead and I put in the God Slayer team, uh, because I saw that we had on the left side a stack of two Superman heroes. And, you know, they're weak to darkness, and so I figured I'd be able to get uh, some kills early on from God Slayer to get him to up his bully attack and have him going quicker right out of the gate, as well as helping him survive the onslaught of Chloris if she got to that point. But I figured that his bully would be activated so quickly that he'd be able to, within the first two rounds, take her out before her sand golem could do anything to us, and that's exactly what happened. So let's go ahead and jump in now to the next battle. Now we see here that on the other team they have a Medusa and an Ivy and a Chloris. Those are detrimental. I mean, I didn't want to even mess with it, so I put my main control team against them. Uh, so I figured between Zeus and Ivy we'd be able to take them all out. Uh, Houston is over here helping to... Um, uh, lower the defense and raise the attack from our, from my team, lower the defense from the other team. Uh, with Paladin also helping increase our defense. And Alora and Indira just going through and wreaking havoc, which is exactly what happened. So, uh, pretty, pretty standard team uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, a, a CC team. You got one or two heavy hitters and then everybody else is just support. And it worked out pretty well. Leads us to just sitting here, you know, waiting for Chloris to decide that, you know, game over. And we will now go on to... And the funny thing is, I had a really hard time with this, but I'm going through it now and I'm making it look it's, like it's super easy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there was a, not as much as uh, round 15. That one I was stuck on for a couple of weeks. But, uh, but this one, it took, it took a little bit of uh, planning and, and moving things around. And actually, let me go ahead and restart that. So on this one, we have Jane up in the center on number four, so she can increase the attack of both, um, what's her face, Alpha and Forest Dancer. Unfortunately, we did lose Jane early on to pre-missiles from the enemy Laura. And uh, yeah, who, I didn't even get to see who the other two were. Um, oh yeah, so we have uh, Thinker, and I was having a hard time on this team, so I put Thinker and Giles in this team to increase the uh, the ability to have defense, as well as Sally, or Lucy, Lucy. Uh, what Lucy is going through here, she has the, I think it's called Luminous Artifact, and she increased the defense of everybody in the front row, outside of also increasing the attack of the back row. So like I said, I was having a hard time beating this one. And so I kind of stacked it a little bit defense-wise, uh, using Jane and Sally as well to, or Lucy, not Sally, uh, Jane, uh, Jane and Lucy to increase the back row attack, specifically um, Forest Dancer. And then you have Alpha over here, not really helping out with the attacks per se, but uh, more importantly, keeping that Laura and that Orochi paralyzed. Uh, or stunned, which is exactly what you see happened. And uh, Alpha is really carrying this team, uh, not only in uh, uh, paralyzing, well, I mean, she's carrying paralyzing wise, and Giles is keeping everybody alive. So between the two of them, they're paralyzing everybody and allowing Forest Dancer to do that thing she does. Uh, so now just uh, slowly chipping away and hoping that both Giles, right there, Giles and Alpha will keep um, everybody paralyzed. Normally Giles only hits the, uh, the front row, but after Forest Dancer took out the last remaining person from the front row, Giles was able to start paralyzing whoever was left, and that was Orochi in this case. So now we're going to go to this one. Uh, I only went... Oh, you know what? I am so sorry. Uh, I was thinking of number 15. Number 3 was the worst for 15. It was number 4. I was able to consistently get to team 4, but uh, unable to really win. 
Uh, and then I decided to uh, put balance in. I was like, oh, you know, I'm having a really hard time because uh, Sage over here is uh, continuously just hitting and hitting and hitting and, and stopping us from being able to survive. And oh, wait a minute. I have, even though he's only Epic Plus, I have balance. Maybe he is uh, good enough to shut down uh, Sage long enough, which is exactly what happened. So very first time I put balance in, we cleared the level. Uh, I keep forgetting that even though he is, even post nerf, uh, even though he is, uh, well, I guess the nerf only affected bosses. Anyway, even though he is only Epic Plus, he can still uh, be extremely beneficial to a team. And um, yeah, so, uh, on that note, I think her name is Sirena. Uh, I just learned today, and this is, uh, this. these videos are a little off, so this is sometime at the end of May, 2024. Um, I learned today there's a new hero coming out named Sirena, I think her name is, but she uh, cancels out control. So, I mean, that should have been obvious to us paying attention. They put out a whole bunch of control, people like Balance and Winter Lord. And so obviously after the whales invest a ton of money into them, they're going to release a counter that makes them completely obsolete, which is uh, basically the moral of the story is don't invest a ton of money into games like this because they're just going to give you something and in the wings they're waiting to throw out um, uh, the counter to it that you're going to spend even more money on and make nearly obsolete the things that you did invest money in. So uh, just, I don't know, play casually, have fun. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and see what our reward is. Ah, uh, 10 arena tickets. Let's go ahead and go through everybody that we have on the teams. All right, I hope that was helpful, everybody. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel, you veteran pigeons, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace!